guys lost as to where to buy and sell? Well, I'm Evan from the Swing Trade Pros team here, and in this short video, I'm going to show you guys how to utilize our STP Auto Fib Indicator. And what the Fib Indicator will do is it will give you areas of value of where to sell and where to buy. Now, these are automatically calculated by swing highs and swing lows that have been created throughout the asset's history. Okay, so let's get to it. All right, guys. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to utilize the new um, STP AutoFib indicator to better your results with finding take profit areas and finding support areas to take long positions. All right. So if you go to indicators and you click the Auto Fibonacci indicator, um, it'll just pop up. I just have mine. Um, hidden for right now. So this is kind of what it looks like. Obviously each area here, you know, you have the 236 Fib extension, the 382, the 50%, and the 61.8%. These are all areas typically when you're in downtrends that um, starting from the 382 Fib extension, the, starting from the 382 Fib extension to the 618 area are, are usually um, areas where price action can reverse if you're in downtrends. And if you're in an uptrend, um, it's the inverse, right? So you're looking for a bounce at the 382 Fib extension or the 50% area or down to the 61.8% area. And uh, a little later on, we've got um, some different patterns called harmonic patterns, which you can get retraces down to that 786 or the 886 Fib extension, okay? But for all sakes and purposes of this video, I'm going to just simply show you guys what to look for uh, when, when entering long positions, okay? What you what you want to do is you want to use the, uh, the, 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 the STP buy and sell signals, right? And you want to capture um, or enter at the bottom at the 0% line, right? Because obviously this is, this is basically the bottom. And uh, when you get the buy signal and the low has come in here on the FIB uh, indicator, that's kind of confirmation that this is basically a double bottom, right? So you bottomed here, kind of consolidated, and then made a higher low. And then the buy signal came in, right? And then all we did from here was just go straight up. So that's kind of how I, f I found this call out here. And uh, that should give you guys a brief uh, synopsis of how to utilize the FIM indicator, okay? And you can, you can actually change the periods on this if you're doing like more of a longer term swing trade, which is what I like to do. So I like to use like weekly charts and, um, and, and you know, kind of, uh, I, I don't know if it's gonna actually work to, uh, to, to this uh, period, but you basically would, would go back on the period, right? And kind of adjust it to where you guys think the um, where you guys think the the top is. Obviously, the top was obviously up here, right, in 2018. And for this specific trade setup, um, you guys can always find my crypto callouts in the crypto alert section in the Discord channel if you guys are uh, just joining the community here. Also, make sure you guys hit that like button. Okay, smash that like button up. If you guys like what STP is doing here, and if you like what I'm doing here, um, I'm Mr. Know It All in the Discord channel. If you guys don't know who I am, and I've been posting uh, trade setups and trade alerts for you guys, and uh, I'll also be covering some stocks as well. Um, but this video, I just specifically wanted to cover for the uh, the newcomers here, and and obviously anybody else that is uh, subscribed to uh, STP and is taking part in our in our in our program here for the, uh, the new indicator that we have here, the STP Auto Fib. And as you guys can see, um, Komodo Bitcoin here, since the call out is actually up nearly 85%. And um, at each level here, this is where I would set take profit. So if you entered around that 700 area, which is where I think I made the call out around right here when we broke broke this, uh, this previous consolidation, um, the entry was around 690 Satoshi, I believe. So I would have set take profits at each level, you know, 970, you know, then around 1,000, and then kind of where we are, we're at right now. And then if we make it up here around 1450, and then at the 100% retrace level, 1700, and then maybe you guys want to hold a moon bag, you know, like we're about to have alt season here. So like, if this isn't a swing trade for you, this is more of a longer term trade. Um, you know, you could kind of kind of see that uh, it definitely has a lot of room to go up, okay? Um, I personally am just doing a swing trade on this. And I'm just trying to accumulate more Bitcoin because let's take a look at Bitcoin real quick. I think Bitcoin is about to make a big move. Okay, I, I know I made a call out earlier today in the channel. And make sure you guys uh, hit that like, that bell, and that sub if you guys like what I'm doing here. And I will be definitely streaming tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern time. So make sure you guys hang around for that. 
I do that hopefully every week if I'm around. And um, let's just take a quick look at Bitcoin here and show you guys how to uh, use the FIB uh, indicator here to better yourself in trading. Okay, so we, we actually hit the 50% line, which is a common, which is the the common area for a retrace, right? Anywhere in that 382 to 618 area. If we are in a downtrend, right? We tested it, rejected it, and now we're kind of that, and now we're kind of just in the middle of the zero and the 236 FIB here. However, if you did actually take your FIB tool, okay, and you FIB from the low to the swing high, okay, you could see that we are actually right at the 618 in this little belt, in this little bull flag that we're in, okay. Now the FIB indicator will obviously kind of adjust to your time scale, right? So this is on a daily, so it's going to grab all the daily information and uh, it's going to grab the previous high from July, right? But if I went to like a four hour chart, you know, you exactly that, you'll get this. Right, so you can see that we're right at the 618 extension. Uh, we're kind of just teetering around here, and in my opinion, we're going to actually see a breakout because this is an area of value and where uh, typically uh, we like to see price action reverse anywhere in the 382 to the 618 in a downtrend or um, in an actual um, when it's in a con downward consolidation. That's kind of what you want to see. That's very healthy for assets to do that. Um, so th that's kind of what we want to see here, right? So. We're, we're looking at we're looking at this um, pretty, pretty pretty closely. You guys can clearly see that we had some sort of double bottom here, right? We had a bottom wick here, and we have a bottom wick here, right? And um, you can you can get this kind of drawn out this way, right? So we can grab this wick down here, and we can kind of draw a down sloping um, wedge, right? So yes, we did get some some brief rejection here. At this level, but I, I really truly think once the daily closes around seven o'clock Eastern time here, we're gonna we're gonna see some really really interesting price action happen. Okay, um, so let's look at the oscillators real quick. I mean, we don't have a STP buy signal in yet. Um, let me just go to the uh, STP signals here and go to the 24. Now I'm on regular candles. Um, we can go to Hell and Ashy, and you guys can kind of see that we got that green, right? So yeah, we do have some brief rejection here. Um, I, I still, I still want to believe we are going to break out of this. Okay. Um, we don't have any confirmation yet. However, you guys can see that we got double bottom. We're at the edge of a breakout. Okay. Um, well, I hope this video was helpful for you guys in using the auto fib tool and you know identifying patterns and breakouts and using the auto fib tool to set target areas okay if you're trading a smaller time scale like a 15 minute chart i don't know say you guys were were trading this little potential breakout here right you would have caught this move from 84.40 to you know right around yeah you probably would have sold this 236 or 382 right so you would have caught a, a 150 dollar move you know that's nice on leverage right anyways guys i hope this video was helpful and i hope you guys like and subscribe to the channel make sure you guys hit that like button and we'll catch you guys in the 7 o'clock or 8 o'clock p.m. stream.